Today we're going to talk about basic donkey harnessing. This is JD and he's a five-year-old standard donkey. He's been driving for about a year. And uh, let's go ahead and talk about the parts. This is a leather harness. Harnesses come in different kinds and slightly different styles, but this one's just a basic leather harness. So I'm going to go ahead and put this up on him. And we get everything kind of up there and then we'll put it in place. So this is called the saddle and it has rings for the lines, uh, or you might call them reins if you're riding, but for driving we call it lines, so they'll go through here. So I'm going to come down here, kind of run my hand across his belly, pick up the belly band, and we'll go ahead and get that fastened. With a driving harness, the belly band is not as tight as with a saddle. You want it just finger snug, and the reason being is that you want a little room so that if you're on uneven ground and the part is slightly at an angle, that the uh, this here uh, the saddle can twist a little bit on his body if it needs to. So that's why we don't put that super tight. So now I'm going to go ahead slide these parts down off of his bum. So this part is called a britchin, and that's very important. It acts as the brake. Just slide your tail through there. And it should sit just below the fullest part of the haunches. If it's too low, that can interfere with his movement. So right about here is a good spot. This style of harness also has a crupper. That just helps keep everything in place. Sometimes people like to keep the crupper buckled, or you might have a style that doesn't unbuckle, and you can just pull things back, slide the tail through if you want, or I'm just going to unbuckle this one, slide his tail through, and then buckle it back up. Okay, so the britchin acts as the brake for the cart. Um, when you have lighter carts, they don't have a manual brake, so this is what physically holds it back, and this piece attaches to the cart, and it's called a holdback strap. I'm going to go ahead and get the rest. This is the breast collar style harness, and this is the piece that really does the work. This is where all the force comes when he's pulling. I have a pad in here, and it's just Velcroed on. And with donkeys, they have um, not a lot of flesh up here, so the uh, breast collar sits kind of right on their breastbone. So having a pad is just kind of nice for them. I also have a pad up under the saddle, and you can put one there if you like, but it's not a requirement. So I'm going to go ahead and reach around him and get my breast collar put on. You want to make sure all the buckles and tabs are in place so you don't have anything flapping. Festus. I have another dog named Festus. You are JD. Sorry about that. And these are our traces. I like to fold them up and just kind of tuck them back in on themselves. And this way, when they're not in use, they're not dragging on the ground, getting dirty, or someplace for you to trip in. So, he's all set. And the next thing I'm going to do is put on his bridle. So this is a bridle that has a pony or horse style blinders and sometimes you'll see a different style on uh, donkeys or mules, but donkeys are pretty forgiving and um, you can have either style. Some people like to have what's called an open bridle that doesn't have any blinders on it, but my preference is to have blinders and you can do what works best for your donkey. This halter is called buckle nose halter and it's pretty nice for driving. You don't have to have one but if you do it's kind of easy to put the bridle on and not have to completely untie it. Situated. Okay. And there you go. What kind of bit? This bit is remember right, correct me if I'm wrong, a Buxton driving bit and it's a little bit 
um, fancier style. It's just what I happen to have. The mouthpiece is pretty plain of just a straight bar and then it does have a curb chain on it. Um, if you have a very easy going donkey, you might be able to just have a snaffle, but you want to find what works best for your donkey. With JD, he can uh, have a little bit of get up and go sometimes, so I find a mild curb is very helpful for him. How tight do you keep that curb chain? The curb chain should be about two fingers, uh, be able to slip in there, and then that's about the right uh, amount of tightness for it. Any tighter than that and it's going to put too much pressure when you engage it and any looser than that it's not going to put any pressure so it won't be of use at all. So about two fingers um, width in there is just about perfect. So let me get his throat latch. comes in pretty handy. I'm going to go ahead and buckle this back over his bridle. And so now he's secured until we're ready to go. So now let's go get his cart. <laughs> 